Well, Tony, it's very nice to see you. I trust you're keeping well in the Channel Islands. I am, thank you, Rodney. Yeah. So, you know, we were just talking, and a lot of people have a particular impression mm -hmm. about what the Channel Islands are all about from a business perspective. I'm really interested in your views as you live on the ground. Yeah, thank you. There are a lot of popular misapprehensions about what we do, but reality is we how our proposition to the international financial world, the business world, is, is around two things, which primarily tax neutrality and proportionate regulation, and the two go hand in hand. And what I mean by tax neutrality is, is, is about we, by having, we're, we are a, zero, a largely zero tax regime. Um, I don't, don't pretend any, any other than that. But the reason we are that is so that the, the, our, our customers, the clients that use Channel Island structures, uh, are ensure there is no there are no frictional taxes at, at fund or corporate level here in the Channel Islands, which means that you pay tax either at, at investee level. So in the case of the say a private equity fund, the portfolio companies will pay tax at, 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 as they as they generate profits. They distribute profits up to a private equity fund or investment fund in the Channel Islands. We don't tax them there, which then means the return to the investor will get taxed according to their investor status. So if you're a a big North American state pension fund you don't pay tax, so you receive your income, whether it's, whether it's dividends, interest, or, or capital gains from the fund, tax-free. But if, on the other hand, you're a high net worth individual, you'll, get, you'll be taxable in your hands as you receive it. But what, you, what it means, though, is you get, you, there's no tax at our level. So, it's, so it's, but that's what I mean by neutrality. We don't impose taxes at, at a jurisdictional level, which means that the return to investors is greater as a consequence. And our ability to do that through simple, straightforward structures um, is really important. And then alongside of that, is our regulatory regime because um, because again one of the perhaps impressions that people like to like to uh, to, to present above the channel is some kind of wild west of regulation and you couldn't be further from the truth if you plug one of you know, any one of the financial service providers off the island and how they feel about our, our local financial service commissions they would say that they are over regulated and they've gold plated regulation and they're overbearing and which probably means they're doing the job right <laughs> because you know, if industry thinks regulator is okay there's something wrong just, just fascinating, Anthony. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of an interesting point you make, right? I mean, the 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 Channel Islands are focused on how do we make things efficient for yeah. everyone. So, good, strong regulation, and I guess your point on the fact that the Channel Islands don't impose entity level taxes probably doesn't mean you have many tax treaties with other countries anyway. Well, we don't exactly because you say to a country, we'd like a double taxation treaty with you. We say, well, you're missing the point. The point about double taxation is double. There isn't double taxation. Yeah. So, what do you need a treaty for? And it's hard to argue with that. Absolutely. So, just fascinating. Yeah. So, it's kind of interesting because it's a different impression that, to what I know a lot of people have. But uh, yeah. it's fascinating, Anthony. Well, I, I got to believe, you know, in today's environment where people are looking for as little friction as possible yeah. On, yeah. On, on returns and just focusing in on the business opportunities. I've got to believe that's keeping, uh, well, keeping you very busy these days. It is, and, and it's been keeping us busy and we've been growing because the, the appetite for those well-regulated tax neutral structures just to help deploy capital around the world. It's really important. Our ability to do that is fundamental to, to, our, to our growth. And even during you know, the last year or so, uh, as jurisdictions, we've been seeing new business coming our way, mostly existing Providers here use uh, putting new structures in place to existing private equity funds, for example, setting up new funds. Um, a, a lot of insurance, interest in capital insurance structures because of hardening the insurance markets. So we've had a really good year, actually. We've not been able to go anywhere, but we've had actually, actually surprisingly good year. Well, just fascinating, Anthony. And perhaps on that note, that's a reminder of COVID. Yes, it's ever with us. Yeah. So I'll leave you for the afternoon. Um, it's been a pleasure catching up with you. And uh, Stay healthy till you manage to get vaccinated, huh? Yeah, you too. Thank you.